Hello everyone, in this demo we will see the collection classes that we have. Now all my collection classes are present in the namespace called as system.collection. So I will just say using system.collections. Now here I am going to demonstrate two classes, one is stack and another is queue. Now if I want to store some elements or some objects in the stack then I need not to write all the logic that I used to do in my C or C++. What is that I can do? I have a ready made class called as stack and I can create the object of that class. I will say equals to new stack. Once I create the object of this class stack, now I can start storing some objects in it. Now how do I store the objects in the stack? I can store the object in the stack with the help of a method called as push. I will say s dot push. So I can push few elements. Now I am pushing 12, I will say s dot push 14, I will say s dot push 56, and I will say s dot push 34. Now, I have stored all these elements in the stack. Now, how does my stack works? My stack works on last in, first out, LIFO. So, last in, first out. So, think that this is your stack. I have first stored 12, then I have stored 14, then 56, then 34. Now, if I want to pop an element or if I want to take out an element, it will give me the element that I have stored in the last. So, I am storing 34 at the last. So, it will take out 34 first. So, I will just say console dot write line. I want it to print s dot pop. I will say dot to string. I need to convert that object into string. That is it. I will say console dot read line. So, it is going to display 34. See that it is displaying 34. Now, how do I iterate through the elements of stack again it is very easy to iterate through the elements I can use for each loop for each loop int item in s int item in s so now I will print item console dot write line item I will just press f5 see that it is displaying 34 first, then 56, then 14, then 12. So, elements that I have stored, I have stored in the order of 12, 14, 56, 34. So, but while displaying, it is displaying me the stack. And I will just write here console dot write line elements, elements are so and so. And I will say console dot write line pop an element. So I am not saying what element to pop, I will just say pop. So it is going to pop the last element that I have stored. And I want to display the same after popping the elements. So I will just copy this. elements after popping are so and so. So, what is that it should do? It should display all the elements, then if I say pop, then it should show me 34, then it should show me 12, 14, 56. Why? Because I have removed 34, the left out elements are 12, 14 and 56. See that 34, 56, 14, 12. So, I have popped an element. So, it has removed from the top 34. It says that element after popping are 56, 14 and 12. Now, if I pop the element again, it is going to pop the next element that is 56 and display me the rest 12 and 14. So, I will copy both the things. I will pop and then again I will display the things.
okay this is fine so for the first pop it has removed 34 in the second pop it has removed 56 so left out 14 and 12 now what i want i want to add all the elements of stack i want to add all the elements of stack now what i will do for that i'll just comment out these things so that i should have only push there is no pop here so that i can go perform addition operation now i want to add all the elements so i'll just say for each int item in s and here i'll declare int sum equals to 0 and here i'll say sum equals to sum plus item sum equals to sum plus item here i am going to display the sum console dot write line so it is going to add all the elements of stack and display me the sum sum is 116 so as we have seen stack here in the same way i have a class called as q for performing q operations i will say q declare a variable and create the object of class q and in this i have nq and dq methods as a q dot nq to add the items so i'll be adding 23 nq the element now as we know that your queues works on fifo first in first out so i have first inserted 23 now if i dq if i remove an element so first it will remove 23 so i can simply do that by writing a single line of code console dot write line q dot dq dot to string so it has removed 23 if i want to uh, iterate through all the elements in the queue i can use the same for each loop int item in queue here i'll say console dot write line item so first of all it will display me all these elements then it will dq 23 why because i have first store 23 then it will remove 23 first then it will display me 45 56 and 458 five. all the elements dq element it has removed 23 then it will display me 45 56 450 and here also i can perform the same operation of addition like i have done here here i'll say q this is the sum of all the elements in the q now what is that i am doing this is fine so i have a ready-made stack class i have a ready-made queue class whenever i have a situation of enqueuing or dequeuing and implementing queues i can proceed for this and whenever i have the situation of implementing stacks i'll proceed with this stack class now what is that i can do here i'll say q dot nq i'll say manzoor now if you observe i have enqueued four integers and a string so will my compiler stop me from doing this no my compiler will not stop me from doing this if you observe the method parameter it is object i can pass an object so string object i am passing an integer i am passing there is no problem so my compiler is not going to stop me from doing this i can enqueue few integers few strings few doubles there is no problem in it but the problem will arise at the time of addition because what is that it is thinking every item is an integer and it is trying to add it now i'll execute this it should throw me a runtime error that is nothing but exception in the time of compilation it will not throw any kind of error it is going to throw an error at the time of executing this see that it has thrown an error it has uh, read out the error message specify cast is not valid this is my queue you check out the elements 
till 458 it's fine but at the time of converting manzoor to integer it has thrown an exception so this is one of the drawbacks of your collection classes why because at the time of creating the object i am not at all saying that what type of object i am going to queue or what type of object i am going to stack so i can stack integers i can stack doubles i can stack strings i can also stack some objects of user defined classes like if i create a class employee or i create a class student and i can stack all the objects of the student s1 s2 s3 so there is no specific type at the time of defining stack or at the time of defining queue so the problem with this is it is not type safe we can say that it is not type safe i can enqueue or i can stack any type of elements with system dot collections classes the solution for this is system dot collections dot generic classes so this we will see in our next video thank you very much